I hope you're all out there having the best day possible. And as always, I appreciate you taking a bit of time out of that day to actually watch one of my videos. And I just want to make sure you know, I actually have a silver giveaway ending in just five days from now. It will be in the pinned comment below. I know some of these videos are actually getting recommended a little bit by YouTube. So anyone who's new to the channel, just want to make sure you get the chance to get in on that. Now today's topic was actually inspired by a comment I received yesterday on the video I made just talking about a pretty funny story from when I was a kid. I was sitting at lunch and these other kids tried crumpling up tinfoil because they knew I was into silver stacking and then they gave me the tinfoil like, oh, you want some silver? I just threw it back at them and it was overall a pretty silly story, but this comment that I'm referring to was actually talking about someone who's an adult that was made fun of by their own peers for being into silver stacking, which I thought was pretty like ludicrous uh, off the bat. But I had a pretty strong theory as to why those people would actually be harassing him for it. And sure enough, just like I thought, they're actually crypto investors. And their thought process definitely boils down to, well, if you bought silver at this time, you might have made a couple bucks or even lost money. But if you bought Bitcoin at this time, your money's gone up 100 times in value. And I know I'm being condescending with the mocking voice. It's just that this mentality is so ignorant because these people haven't even taken the time to understand what silver investing is actually about. And not just the hype of silver investing, but what true silver stackers, what you and I actually understand about the metal. And they're just completely ignoring that. And instead assuming that anyone who buys silver is buying it for the same purpose that they buy other investments. But in all reality, of course, anyone who's actually advocating for the silver stackers best interest will tell you that this is not a way to get wealthy and in fact we're not even trying to turn our fiat currency into more fiat currency the way that you're trying to do with your investment we're looking at silver as a way to both hedge against inflation and to actually create something of value that will continue to be valuable throughout the rest of time silver has proven itself the way that gold is as well like no other investment ever has it has been valuable in every type of economy and it has been valued by different human societies throughout thousands and thousands of years of history the truth about cryptocurrencies is that nobody knows what their future actually holds because there isn't even a long enough history yet to be able to predict something like that we've only ever gotten to see the growth period but what about the point where there's actual not just economic troubles but a point where people actually get scared and don't even have extra money to invest what will happen to cryptocurrencies then if money is not continuing to come into cryptocurrencies can they continue to grow in value i don't really know and obviously i'm not going to pretend to be an expert on them i could be completely wrong and they could continue going up in value but the fact that there's even a chance that they lose that value already makes them a different investment than silver you don't have to worry about that with silver. And I know you're thinking, but if I buy right now and then the prices go down a little bit, but you weren't smart dollar cost averaging then. If you bought during a time when premiums were higher and when for the demand for silver was higher and you didn't wait until that went down, you have to take a little bit of responsibility for investing at the wrong time. There is a right and wrong time to buy silver, especially when it comes to buying larger amounts. And beyond that, there's also the fact that silver in of itself can be invested in two different ways. It can be looked at as more of a collectible type of hobby where you try to acquire higher premium pieces for the sake of having a really unique collection or just for the sake of the fact that you enjoy those particular pieces. But there's also silver stacking as an actual investment. And when you're talking about investing into it, you're not trying to make as much money as you can, especially you're not trying to turn fiat currency into more fiat currency. You're just trying to preserve your wealth over time with an asset that has proven time and time again, it will always be valued by humanity because it is essential for industry and it is actually real money. But with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you found yourself actually enjoying the information in it, then please consider sharing it to a friend who might actually need to hear it, especially if you have that person in your life who always nags on you for looking at silver investing as a real way to actually preserve your wealth, because they don't understand that going all in on Dogecoin is definitely not the way to do it. Now, I'm just joking around. Obviously, the people who have bought Bitcoin over the years with smart dollar cost averaging have made insane amounts of money on it, but you also have to wonder if you're just going to hold on to Bitcoin forever, when exactly does the point reach where, like, does Bitcoin replace fiat currency then? What exactly is the long-term plan with that? I also have to wonder if you just keep on holding on to it forever. I don't really know, but someone can explain it to me in the comments and make me look dumb. Feel free. With that being said, though, that is truly it for this one. Peace.